Today, we're going to overview everything you need to know about it in a beginner's guide to whether this could be your next calendar application. Let's start out with some of the basics. Cron is available for Windows, Mac, and also now for iOS. I will do the iOS edition of this in the second half of this video in which you can use the chapter stamps if you want to skip to that section. But welcome, this is going to be your guide to Cron Calendar. So Cron Calendar is something that I use for my calendar experience and as you can see um, it looks very similar to Apple Calendar but it has some functionality that some people like that takes a little bit of a step further. I want to talk about that functionality first and then dig into the sort of day-to-day -day navigation of this experience. So I would say the first thing that sort of separates it is the share availability function. Now, obviously some calendar applications are adding this, but not many of the base calendar applications have this sort of functionality and it is a nice one to have. So you can go ahead and choose some scheduling slots. So for example, I might uh, block out this bit of time, block out this bit of time, and I can copy this link, create this link up here, and share my availability. Now what's cool is you can connect up your video conferencing. You may have seen this in other applications, but this is one of the key differentiators from other core calendar experiences. So we'll talk about that in a bit. Obviously it can be customized a little bit further, but you can also see that one of the key things is design. This is a really well built designed experience that you can add multiple calendars to. You can see on this left hand side, I have subscribed to my own calendar and my work calendar up here too, which gives me a good view of everything that I need to see in one place. Now, one of the things that's also nice is you can really modify the number of days you can view. I particularly like seeing in three day view and you can modify that up there. Now, there are lots of settings that you can go into detail on and really refine your experience. And also the command bar is something that you don't get in many calendar applications, but this is really nice for creating events and being able to do that with use, just using your command bar across your day. Now, let me give you a little bit of a tour to how this works. So you can see I can go ahead and block out some time. Now, much like any calendar application, in the top right-hand side, I can see my events, um, I can start typing one away, and I can set all of the regular stuff up, but it's in a very minimal view. Here I can keep things basic by adding participants, conferencing, and in particular you can connect up Zoom, um, Meet, and many more from here. Now I think they only have two, but they did have a custom link here if you did want to set that up in case you have one externally that you like creating. You can also use description, change what calendar it's part of, and set your busyness to the default or whatever visibility you want. Now, as you can see up here, I can search all of my calendar and I can go ahead and uh, set up some of these different views. So if I go up to here, I can choose to have week numbers on or not. I can choose to have uh, declined events appear and I can modify some other information around meetings. I can also set time zones. So you can see here, I've got actually three time zones set up and that's something that I quite like having because I like to see different time zones as not to in invite people to crazy uh, meetings at crazy times. And you can see here, I've got some of the settings for notifications too. One thing I like about the notifications is they pop up in the right hand corner and I can see um, basically an outline of all of the meetings that I have coming up. And I can quit Cron completely from here too. Now you can also set up um, additional calendars they only support Google Calendar right now, so that's just something to note before you get started. And you can modify your profile up here too. So let's show you how the iOS version works alongside. So here we are inside of Cron Calendar for the iOS edition. And it looks very much like the experience you get on the desktop versions, Windows and Mac. And the one thing I really like about this already is that the way they've built this setup in terms of being minimal and a functional calendar. One of the things that I particularly have problems with with calendar is that on web, it feels great or even on desktop in general. But when it comes to mobile, 
it seems to get very crunched down and too unusable. Um, and this is a really nice first attempt at least. So here I can go ahead and push down and create a meeting and everything pops up here, very much like you get with Apple Calendar. Now there are some small things, like if I pop out the time zones, I can see them pop up without necessarily disrupting the UI. So as you can see, I can pop them out and pop them back in. Really nice addition when you're trying to book um, and organize something externally. Now one thing you can do is obviously choose your next date up here, but I can also go back to the date here. So if I'm scrolling ahead, I can tap that in the top right hand corner and I can change what view I have it on. Now on the mobile version, it looks like you can only get three days. I guess that makes total sense because they're limiting you to having a seven day view here, which is really one of the biggest problems with a calendar in uh, mobile versions sometimes. But one of the things you need to remember is that obviously sometimes having too many views is, is overwhelming and uh, it can be really distracting to your productivity. So what's nice is here, as I can see any upcoming meetings that I have, and they're due to the fact that they're connected meetings, so things that I have with other people. I don't actually have any coming up. And I can go into settings up here and modify the theme. I can go into dark mode if I want to. Let's see what it looks like there. And I can set up all my calendar integrations there too. And you can see here, that's really nice in dark mode. So as you can see, this cron for the this version is very much in a very minimal type of view. Um, it also uh, provides you with more of a reader experience, so that's something to note. Now let's turn back to the desktop version and talk about some of who this is best suited for. A lot of people find that cron is very much like Apple Calendar with a few additional perks in terms of its design, its scheduling functionality, and some other features that customize it slightly more. And that's very much what it says on the tin. Cron has been acquired by Notion, so likely they're going to be evolving this in a couple of uh, months in the next sort of year, and naturally they're going to be paying more attention to it, which is great. And one thing I want to say is this is ideal for somebody that wants to take their experience a little bit further with calendar, but doesn't necessarily want to go too far um, with setting up some more or much more uh, intense layouts and experiences that you would get in something like Daybridge, in something like Amy, and et cetera, et cetera. So Cron Calendar a more reliable, more relaxed, more easy to use experience that I think a lot of people are turning to for that sake. So big, big thank you today and I hope you enjoy today's feature. If you are new here to Keep Productive, do subscribe. It'd be great to have you here in the community and I look forward to you diving more videos very soon. Cheerio.